What's going on students? Welcome to another Method Man episode where today you will be learning how to round numbers. Before we get to rounding, I suggest that you memorize this place value chart because that's probably going to be the hardest part of rounding. Let's get to our first question. Rounding is just a tool used to approximate or estimate numbers. That way in the end, the end result will be much simpler than what you started off with. It's just an estimation tool. For instance, if I owed my friend a thousand eight hundred forty-four and thirty-five cents, and I said, "Hey, let's be nice and let's just round this off to not complicate things," if I were to put this in the number line, one thousand eight hundred forty-four in the hundreds, if I were to count by hundreds as my interval, is between one thousand eight hundred and one thousand nine hundred. If you were to round this, all it's asking is to figure out whether it's closer to 1800 or 1900. 1844 is a little less than halfway, so it's somewhere over here, which means that if I were to round this off, my friend would be really nice and only make me pay 1800. If I were to do this problem without a number line, here's how you would do it. First, if the question is asking around to the nearest hundreds, find what the hundred spot is, which is this eight, and underline it. All you have to do is look at the 100 spot, which is this 8, and then look to the very right of it. If this is a 4 and below, everything else behind that 8 to the right of that 8 will turn into zeros. If it's a 5 or higher, that's going to change this 8 to a 9. So since this is 4 and below, everything behind it is a 0. I don't have to put point zero zero. that's not going to change anything. This 8 remains the same, and I get a one in the front, everything to the left of it for the most part, except for the special case scenario, everything to the left of it will stay the same. Let's try another example right here, round to the nearest thousands. First thing I'm going to do is underline what number is in the thousands place value. All you have to do is look to the right of it. If it's four and below, it's going to stay into a seven. If it's five and higher, it moves up one to an eight. Since that's an eight, five and higher, this is going to change into an eight. Everything else behind it, to the right of it, turns into a zero. I don't have to put point zero. That's not going to change anything. And that's it. Let's keep going. Round to the nearest millions. Identify what number is in the million spot, which is this eight right here. Take a look to the right of it. It's a zero. It's four and below. So that eight's going to be the same. For the most part, everything in front of it will remain the same. Everything else behind it will turn into a zero. For the most part, every, this is a 10 spot, usually these numbers stay the same, except this one special case scenario when you're dealing with nines. If you're dealing with nines, sometimes you have to carry a place value one over. Here's what I mean. This nine is in the 10 spot, I'm trying to round. Take a look at that seven. It's five and above, so that nine is gonna move up to a 10. But I can't write a 10 in the 10's place value. I have to carry that 1 to the next place value over. So that's how I would write a 10. I'd cross out the 9. Everything behind this place value are just going to be 0. So I'm going to write a 0 right here. Then you just have to add from top to bottom. 0 plus nothing is just 0. 1 plus 8 is 9. 7 is just a 7. 7,900. It's not that difficult for the special case scenario. You just have to carry the place value one over. All right, I gave you a couple of examples already. Let's see if you could do this on your own and if you actually learn. Round this number first to the nearest millions and then to the nearest hundreds. Pause the video for a second, maybe write this down. And once you have an answer, unpause it for a solution page. I know you can do it. Let's see if you know how to round. Here are your answers. First one, round to the millions. The one is in the million spot. This number to the right of it is four and below. So that means that one is just gonna stay as a one. Everything else behind it turns into zeros. So that rounds off to one million. I highlighted this one in red on purpose because that's a special case scenario. Round to the nearest hundreds. This was a nine. Special case scenario, so it, something might have to carry one over. I take a look to the right of it and it's a 7, which is 5 and above. So that 9 is going to change one place value up to a 10. But I can't write a 10 here 
So I have to carry that one to the next place value over. From there, everything to the right of that nine turns into zeros and then add. Zero plus nothing is zero. One plus two is three. Three, six, one. Easy day. Thank you guys for watching my video. Throw me a thumbs up if you know how to round by now and leave me a comment if you need any extra help with your rounding numbers. If you like this video, click right here to see how to round numbers with decimals. If you want to check out my channel, check out some of our math wraps, click on this video right here. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for your support. See ya.